It's time to catch a cheater. Only on the Jubal Show. Rick is on the phone today for To Catch a Cheater, and he actually thinks that his sister might be cheating on her husband of two years. Oh. And he wants to try to catch her if she is. So, Rick, thank you for your email. Thanks for coming on the show. Tell us what's up, man. What's going on with your sister? All right, man. Well, uh, it's pretty much what you said, man. I just I think that my sister is cheating on her husband, and... I don't know, man. I just feel like as the uh, as the uh, as the sibling, I feel like it's my duty to uh, to uh, call out some kind of weird promiscuous stuff. Like, look, I feel like we should be holding ourselves a little more accountable these days. So, give me all a call. I just I don't know 100 percent anything. So, I just feel like we should uh, get this ball rolling and try to figure something out. You know what I mean? Do you think that her husband has any feeling about her cheating on him, or this is just something that you're taking upon yourself to do? Um, honestly, I'm not sure if he's too aware of what's going on. I mean, I'm sure he's picked up things here and there, but ultimately I don't really think that he is a hundred percent aware of what's going on. That's kind of why I want to get involved here. Cause look, it's like, like he, her husband is, is a good friend of mine. Like I've really kind of grown, grown pretty close to this dude. And so I just feel like, I just feel like we should get stuff cleared up and get things hundred percent. Cause if this is a friend of mine, despite it being my sister, I feel like I got to kind of do him a service here. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Did you ask your sister? No, I haven't I haven't officially like confronted her 100%, but this is the thing is I feel like she she's good enough to kind of lie around that with me. That's why we're doing all this cuz like uh-huh. if we were on some kind of open communication, I could just talk to her about it, then I feel like that's something I would have done, but I don't think that she's going to be fully honest in that scenario if if I'm busting her here, you know what I mean? So I haven't really talked to her and I just kind of wanted to catch her in the act. It feels kind of weird that you're trying to catch your sister. To be yeah. yeah. Like, I feel like there should be some loyalties there, but, but okay. There is to her husband. I mean, yeah. And, and it's, I think it's to both, right? It extends because like, I feel like if she's doing him dirty, then she's doing herself dirty in a way. So I don't know. I just feel like, I just feel like I'm onto something here. Well, what's she doing that makes you think she's cheating? Well, uh, it's okay. So it's just like some little stuff, right? Like something about Abby that y'all should know is that like, I, I feel like Abby, she's kind of, how do I put this? Like, I don't want to say the word promiscuous, so I'm not going to say that word, but she's out there. She's a little bit, I almost want to say like tomboyish. Like she's kind of, she's outside the box a little bit. You know what I mean? Like she's not, she's not too reserved. So let me explain it like this. All right. So like about a week and a half ago, right? Like it was me and my whole family. And uh, we went out to this, one of the, you know, those like outdoor pavilion, like the concert things or whatever, where everyone sits in lawn chairs and we listen to old people music or drinking <laughs> some wine kind of thing. Yeah. You know? We, we go to one of those and, uh, you know, cause I, I don't see them a whole lot. So it was just a good time. The family's all there. Everyone was having a good time. Like the folks enjoyed the music or whatever. But at one point, right. So I get up to go to a food truck. I was going to grab like some, uh, some fries or whatever. I go to this food truck and I see Abby, I see her with some dude and like, that would have been fun or whatever, but she was getting really flirty and kind of like close with this dude. Like, I don't know. And she didn't like see me, but I watched him for a while just to make sure nothing dumb was happening or whatever. And so, like, I, like, I don't know. And I just see them kind of flirting, and they're getting kind of close. It just looks a little bit weird, right? So, I don't know. I told my mom about it, and, and, and I don't know. I just think there's something suspicious going on right there. Like, And I haven't really talked to Mark about this 100%, but I just don't want her to hurt the homie. I don't want her to hurt Mark if this is what I thought I saw. I just saw her getting weird, and I just, I, I don't know. I just, I don't, wanna, I don't want him getting hurt over some of this, so. I just saw enough. You know what I mean? Sure. Okay. And you told your mom about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I kind of had, well, cause she knows how Abby is and she knows okay. how I am. She just knows both of us really well. So I did. I had the conversation with my mom about it. I still haven't talked to Abby. haven't talked to my dad. haven't talked to anybody else, but I don't know. I just, I saw some weird stuff at this concert and I just have a feeling that there's something going on. Okay. Well, we'll play a song, come back, and then you told us what grocery store she is a rewards card member at. So we'll pretend to be from there and say that she's this month's lucky winner of free flowers delivered from our floral department. We'll see, we'll see if she sends those to her husband or somebody else, okay? Okay, perfect. All right, we'll play a song, come back, and get your To Catch Cheater next. Right in the middle of To Catch a Cheater, and if you're just joining us, Rick is on the phone, and he's actually seeing if he can catch his sister, Abby, cheating. So in a second, we're going to call her and pretend to be from the grocery store that she's a rewards card member at and say that she's this month's lucky winner of free flowers delivered to anybody that she wants from our floral department, and we'll see if she chooses her husband, whose name is Mark, or someone else. I'm just going to make sure we yeah. clarified, because <laughs> we were checking on the brother's <laughs> yeah. sister cheating on. It's not him. She's, she's married. Yes. Um, all right, Rick, before we make our phone call, why don't you kind of tell everybody why you think she's cheating? 
Well, I don't know. So like I was saying, it's like I went, I went out with some family recently, including my sister. And, uh, I just saw some, some weird like behavior. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I was at a taco truck and I saw her kind of sort of rubbing up, flirting, getting a little bit too weird with this other random guy. So I just kind of picked up on something and here we are. All right. Well, you ready for us to call her? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. Hi, this is Corbin calling from I was looking for our rewards card member named Abby. Uh, this is Abby. Abby, hi, how are you? Congratulations, guess what? You're this month's big winner. Okay, sorry, what is this? Well, maybe you haven't heard. Every single month we choose one rewards card member at random to say thank you very much for being such a loyal customer by gifting them free flowers delivered from our floral department. You've won 36 long stem red roses, a box of candy or chocolate, and a card to be delivered to anybody that you want within the 50 United States of America. Absolutely free. It's a $316 value. Congratulations. Oh, okay. And it is absolutely free. Sometimes people ask. You'll get confirmations on everything. It's just our way of saying thank you very much for shopping with us. Okay. Um, so here's how so, it works. Um, yeah. Okay. The first thing I would need from you would be the first and the last name of the person you'd like to send them to. Okay. Um, it's Blake. Okay. And um, would you like to send a card with that? Um, yeah. Okay, just put, um, hey, lover, buy me something nice, LOL. Hey, lover, buy me something nice. Great, I can definitely do that. Um, also, so, Abby, just a quick, quick question. Do you have any family members? I mean, do you have brothers, sisters, anything like that? Um, I have a brother. Okay, yeah, his name's Rick, correct? Yeah. Well, he's actually on the phone right now because this is the Jubal show. It's a radio show. Yeah. And we do a segment called To Catch a Cheater. And your brother thought you might be cheating on your husband named Mark. And it sounds like you might be. Oh, my God. Yeah, Abby, what the hell, dude? Hang on, hang on. Wait, yeah, what wait. is it? I don't know. Who what, 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 like, who's Blake? It doesn't matter who Blake is. You're my brother. Why are you getting in the middle of my marriage? Like, you, you have absolutely nothing to do with this. And even if you did, like, um, I would think you on my side. Look, look, look okay. Problem. Abby, this is crazy. Look, and, and this is why I did it this way, because I knew that if I talked to you about this, that this wouldn't be something that you would open up to me about. So this is why I had to do I just got to explain that off the bat, because I already knew that you were going to be shady with me. And you're being shady with the one dude in your life that actually cares about you. Like, you're ri- it, th- this is crazy. Like, I don't know who this Blake dude is. I don't know who this Blake dude is. I have a feeling it's that dude I saw at the concert with you. But listen, let me back it up here because this is crazy. Like, your husband, like, Mark is the, he is the only dude in your life that actually cares about you, puts everything into you, and this is really how you treat him. Like, as my sister, I just feel like this is, this is just too far. This is crazy, Abby. Like, what are we doing here? No, like, as my brother, first of all, you don't have anything to do with my marriage. This has nothing to do with you. You should not be getting involved. But if you are going to get involved, you should be on my side because you're my brother. Like, this is just like you would always freaking do when we were growing up. You should have been on my side, but what would you do? You'd always like run and tell mom and dad on me. Um, you know, instead of like, if I got in trouble, instead of helping me cover it up, what would you do? You would tell on me. It's the same thing. Grow up. Yeah, but let me explain something. I would be on your side if you were ever on the right side. If you were ever doing the right thing, I could back you up all the way. But this is crazy. And the reason I had to set all this insane, like, this is because you're just so dishonest with the people that actually care, including yourself. And that's why that's why I feel like i got to step in. It's because I just watch you burn stuff down. That's what you do. You burn stuff down. And you're burning down the, your, your marriage now like this. This is messed up, Abby. Like, I need you to admit that to yourself. That what you're doing, because I knew something was up with this. I knew something was up with this. So what you need to do is you need to admit to yourself that you're wrong and that you're in the wrong and that you've been in the wrong and that your brother is trying to help you, actually. Because that's all I've been trying to do. Every time I tell on you, every time I call you out, <laughs> what this is is me trying to help you. So, so I need you to back this up, and I need you to figure something out here, yo. Because this, this is crazy. I don't know who this Blake guy is. I, I, don't, I almost don't even want to know who this Blake guy is. All I know is that you did say Mark 
And that's a problem for me because that's the man that would have said your name every time. So the fact that you are taking this, I, I just, I can't even with you. I really don't even know how to help you here, Abby. Maybe we ask her point blank, though, because, yes, she was giving the flowers to somebody she called a lover. But, Abby, are you having an affair or is this like a one off? No, I'm not having an affair. It's just like some. Yeah, it's the guy from the thing that I was flirting with. Like, I'm just like talking to him. I'm not doing anything. I mean, lover's pretty incriminating and it's still yeah. not yeah. a good thing. So you haven't done anything with this dude yet? No, like I gave him my number. We've been texting. Last time I checked, texting was not cheating. I don't even buy that, though. I don't even buy that, because that's why I set all this up. I don't think you I think you're lying to these people. I think you're lying to me and you. I, I think I think you're doing too much here. Like you, you, you clearly had something going on with that dude at the concert. And this confirms it 100 percent for me. That this is absolutely. So you're just going to destroy my marriage. That's how you're going to help me. You're going to you're going to tell on me, my husband, and try and uh, get me to end up divorced. That's that's how you're going to help me. No, you know what? So I'm actually what I'm doing is a favor for you, and I'm going to go ahead and extend that and do another favor for you. Listen to me here, Abby. I'm going to make you a deal. Listen, I'm going to make you a deal with something here because this is this is all crazy, and I don't want to have to affect Mark with this. I don't want this to have to go to Mark. I want this to. That's all I want. I don't want this to have to be something nuclear and saying that we can't back out of listen. I think I'm going to make you a deal, right? I don't think Mark is even going to listen to this. He's not going to hear this. He's not going to hear this. But what this is, is accountability. I'm going to hold you accountable with this. If you ever do something like this again, he's going to hear this segment, right? Now hear me out because here's the deal, right? And if you, and if you agree to stop all of this, and if you can just, just start being honest with yourself, being honest with me, then listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make him hear this segment that we're on right now. But, but if I catch you doing stuff like this, if I see more of this, of this behavior, this just, this just dishonesty. If I see more of this smoke in the mirrors, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play him this segment and, we're gonna, and he can figure it out from there. So what do you think about that? Cause listen, I don't want this to be something nuclear or something crazy. I don't this need is this crazy. to be something yeah. that your entire life up, but you need accountability. And so what I think this you could be is accountability. Black. You're literally trying to hold this over my head so you can, oh, well, if you mess up, I'm going to tell your husband and oh, well, like you're just manipulating me. This feels crazy. To yeah. Me. Before we do, and you can take my advice or not, <laughs> Abby, cheating is wrong. If you want to get through to your sister, leading with love versus blackmail <laughs> usually goes a longer uh-huh. way. Well, now you, you know, Rick, that you, you were right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling mom. <laughs> The Jubal Show's To Catch a Cheater.